Oleochemistry is the study of vegetable oils and animal oils and fats, and oleochemicals derived from these fats and oils or from petrochemical feedstocks through physico-chemical modifications or transformation. First used in the making of soaps, oleochemistry is now part of our daily lives where it is found in a wide variety of sectors like food, cosmetics, pharmaceutical and industrial. The resulting product can be called oleochemicals from Latin, oleum, olive oil. They are analogous to petrochemicals derived from petroleum. The formation of basic oleochemical substances like fatty acids, fatty acid methyl esters fame, fatty alcohols, fatty amines and glycerols are by various chemical and enzymatic reactions. Intermediate chemical substances produced from these basic oleochemical substances include alcohol ethoxylates, alcohol sulfates, alcohol ether sulfates, quaternary ammonium salts, monoacylglycerols (MAG), diacylglycerols (DAG), structured triacylglycerols (TAG), sugar esters, and other oleochemical products. As the price of crude oil rose in the late 1970s, manufacturers switched from petrochemicals to oleochemicals because plant-based lauric oils processed from palm kernel oil were cheaper. Since then, palm kernel oil is predominantly used in the production of laundry detergent and personal care items like toothpaste, soap bars, shower cream and shampoo. Topic. Processes Important processes in oleochemical manufacturing include hydrolysis and transesterification, among others. Topic. Hydrolysis The splitting or hydrolysis of the triglycerides produces fatty acids and glycerol. RCO2CH2 CHO2CRCH2 O2 Cr plus 3 H2 O3 RCOOH plus HOCH2 CHOH CH2 O the addition of base helps the reaction proceed more quickly, the process being saponification. Topic: Transesterification. Fats react with alcohols RO instead of with water in hydrolysis in a process called transesterification. Glycerol is produced together with the fatty acid esters. Most typically, the reaction entails the use of methanol (MeOH) to give fatty acid methyl esters. RCO2CH2 CHO2CRCH2 O2 Cr plus 3 MeOH3 RCO2 Me plus HOCH2 CHOH CH2 OHFAMEs are less viscous than the precursor fats and can be purified to give the individual fatty acid esters, e.g. methyl oleate versus methyl palmitate. Topic. Hydrogenation The fatty acid or fatty esters produced by these methods may be transformed. For example, hydrogenation converts unsaturated fatty acids into saturated fatty acids. The acids or esters can also be reduced to the fatty alcohols. For some applications, fatty acids are converted to fatty nitriles. Hydrogenated of these nitriles gives fatty amines, which have a variety of applications. Topic: Applications. The largest application for oleochemicals, about 30% of market share for fatty acids and 55% for fatty alcohols, is for making soaps and detergents. Lauric acid, used to produce sodium lauryl sulfate and related compounds, which are used to make soaps and other personal care products. 
Other applications of oleochemicals include the production of lubricants, solvents, biodiesel and bioplastics. Due to the use of methyl esters in biodiesel production, they represent the fastest growing sub-sector of oleochemical production in recent years. Topic: <inaudible> Oleochemical industry development. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Europe Through the 1996 creation of Novants and the 2008 acquisition of Olean, Avril Group has dominated the European market of oleochemistry. <laughs> Southeast Asia Southeast Asian countries' rapid production growth of palm oil and palm kernel oil in the 1980s spurred the oleochemical industry in Malaysia, Indonesia, and Thailand. Many oleochemical plants were built. Though a nascent and small industry when pitted against big detergent giants in the US and Europe, oleochemical companies in Southeast Asia had competitive edge in cheap ingredients. The U.S. fatty chemical industry found it difficult to consistently maintain acceptable levels of profits. Competition was intense with market shares divided among many companies there where neither imports nor exports played a significant role. By the late 1990s, giants like Henkel, Unilever, and Petrofina sold their oleochemical factories to focus on higher profit activities like retail of consumer goods. Since the Europe outbreak of mad cow disease or bovine spongiform encephalopathy in 2000, tallow is replaced for many uses by vegetable oleic fatty acids, such as palm kernel and coconut oils, 